Welcome to Exomagitrix 757.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Exomagitrix 757.5 and 758.5, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, uh, both these videos are responses to videos I just did. This is in response to Exomagitrix 757. You might want to go watch that one first. Hey, in that video there, we had this data set, and we needed to look up and retrieve a quantity based on a code and then a left or right. So in this video, I phrase this as a lookup problem when there are two lookup values. See, we had to look up this and this. So we came down here, we found the left, and then we got that value and returned it right there. Ah, but really, and this is uh, from the comment sections of this video right here, a couple people pointed out, hey, this is really an adding with two criteria, which it is. So let's look at a formula for adding with criteria that uh, will work a little bit better than this just because the formula we're going to use is really adding with two criteria. And then we'll see an example when this formula really does work because this formula will work if this lookup column is not filled with numbers. But if it's filled with numbers, we're just looking. Um, adding with two criteria. The other thing about this is there are no duplicates. If we were adding with two criteria, uh, it could handle duplicates just fine. Now I'm actually going to uh, point to the edge here, hold shift, and then drag it down here. And when I see that gray bar, I'm going to drop, let go of the mouse, and it brings these ones up here. <coughs> I did this uh, trick in a couple videos earlier. Uh, and messed it totally up. All right, so here it is. It's just adding. I need to go and get the, the value right there. So I'm going to use, this is a, a post at the, in the comment section. Someone used the sum product. So equals sum product. And the advantage of using sum products is if you don't have Excel 2007 or 10, this formula will work. So sum product. Well, the criteria is this column and this column based on this and this. So I'm just going to go uh, double negative, open parentheses, and highlight this first column. The double negative is because we're going to set up a series of trues and falses. And we need to convert them to ones and zeros to then multiply these arrays and get the value. All right, so we're going to say, is that range? And by the way, I need this lock. So I'm going to hit the F4 key in all directions. Any time anything in that range is equal to this. Now, we're going to uh, lock it going this way, but not down. So I'm going to hit F4 three times and lock the column reference. Close parentheses. That's the first array, comma, the second array, double negative. And here's the second set of criteria. Control Shift down arrow, F4, Anytime that's equal to this. And I'm going to hit the F4 twice to lock it going down, but not to the side. Close parentheses. Now, these ones and zeros. We here will be multiplied these ones and zeros, and we get a one times one, comma. Then we want to multiply everything in this ray and in this range, and boom. And that's also F4 to lock in all ray, all directions. All right, and then that'll work just fine. So really, if they're numbers, this is probably a better formula. Now let's also see if you have 2007 or 10. You don't want to use this because the some ifs with an s and count ifs if you were counting are faster calculating. They're more efficient formulas. And that's important uh, to remember. Now the problem is maybe you're sharing this and you can't actually uh, use this function because people in earlier versions don't have access to this. All right, the sum range. I'm going to highlight this whole column there. Control Shift down arrow F4, comma, and then some ifs great. It's just going to give us criteria range 1, and then criteria, and then criteria range 2, and then criteria 2. I hit the F4 key. OK, let's lock that. Comma, the first criteria range will be this. Control Shift down arrow F4, comma. And I'm going to go ahead and click right here, and then F4 three times, comma, the next criteria range. Notice it says criteria range 2. Control Shift down on F4. See how that F4 jumps back the screen back. I love that criteria too. It's right here, F4 twice. All right, and so that will work. Now there's another advantage to both of these formulas if you have values. Now in this case we don't have any duplicates. There are no duplicates. But if you did, totally beautiful because guess what? It will add. So let's imagine that there was. I better change this. There's two of these here. They're both rights. We need to add these. Sure enough, that formula will work. That means this 
there there are no left, so we got a zero and there we add both. Now let's go over and look at the so in this so far we just saw that yes, values are the lookup thing you want to retrieve, whether it's a single value or duplicates, probably some product or some ifs will work. But what if these were numbers? Then the original formula works just fine. All right, I'm going to click over here. Ah, here's a different situation. We have a code and we have a region. And there are no duplicates here. And the thing we want to return is a sales rep. So in the south and the north, we need to have a list of sales rep here and sales rep here. You can see I have this formula. Right? This is the same formula we just did over here. It's not going to work with uh, words. So we're going to use our same formula we did in our last formula, index. The array, that's the value values we want to look up. So control shift down and then F4. The row number, well, we're going to use the match function, our lookup value. Well, we're going to have to concatenate here. I'm going to click there and F4, one, two, three times, and then join. And I'm going to uh, join that criteria. And this one's locked only going down. So now, if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, we have a new, with an S on end, a kind of new lookup value, comma. And then the lookup array, as we talked about in uh, 757, we need to concatenate these columns. But because this is when you concatenate columns, you create an array that requires Control Shift Enter. Forget it. I can put that concatenated uh, two columns inside the index function, and you will not require Control Shift Enter. So let's try this. Click there, Control Shift Enter F4, and then I'm going to concatenate with the uh, Shift 7 ampersand symbol. Control shift down or F4. So I've in essence joined two columns. And the trick to using the index to, to uh, avoid control shift enter is comma, because that's the array, right? You could see that argument says array, which means it can handle an array, comma. Row number, I want all the row numbers. I want everything in that column. So you just put a comma and leave it blank, and then close parentheses. All right, finally, we're back to that's the lookup array. A lookup array for uh, the match, comma, we want 0 for exact match. Close parentheses on the match, and then close parentheses right there on the index. And that formula will work just fine. In essence, what we're seeing here is this is appropriate when you have a two-value lookup. And the lookup item is text, and you want to return it. Um, back over here, we saw if it's really a two-way uh, adding with two criteria, whether there are no duplicates or duplicates, then some product or uh, some ifs uh, are probably better way to go. All right, see you next video.